Welcome to week one of Broken and Beloved. This week, we're going to look at the story that is found in Luke chapter 24, verses 13 to 35. This is both the road to Emmaus and the table of Emmaus. As we discover and enter into this story, we enter into the paradox of despair and hope. This is a great story that we have from Luke's Gospel. In fact, it's only found in Luke's Gospel, both the road to Emmaus and the table at Emmaus. When Luke was telling his story, he wanted to do more than just recall the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. He was telling that story to a group of Christians who were struggling with their faith, and he wanted to encourage them. These Christians were alive a whole generation after the earthly ministry of Jesus, and they faced a challenge to live out their faith in a world that was so different. The Roman world held a different set of values, and so they might have felt that they were marginalized in their own society. I wonder, Cleopas and his friend, did they find in them a kindred spirit in their despair? Did the early church grab onto their story and identify it with it? For they too did not experience what those women did at the tomb on Easter morning. How could the church know the presence of the risen Jesus? For all they knew, they could be encountering Jesus in the strangers. They extended hospitality. As a marginalized people, how could they expect that Jesus would reveal himself to them? And yet that early church did. They gathered around table. They blessed bread. They broke it. They gave it to each other and they shared in the presence of God. What a wonderful time that sacrament was. And it restored their hope. It strengthened them. I wonder about us. In our despair, how do we experience the presence, the gift of God's love and care? How can we experience Jesus in our struggle? Hospitality is an important value in the early church. Sharing hospitality with strangers, caring for those in the margins of society. There are reports of Christians reaching out, even helping prisoners and outcasts. At this table story, it is the hospitality that Cleopas and his friend provide to the stranger that invites him to their table, and it's only then do they realize that they are experiencing the presence of Christ. Hospitality is an important value for us today as Christians. How do we extend our table both in the sanctuary and in our homes, how do we share what we have with those who are different, with those who are strangers in our midst? How do we open that space and invite the Christ to come in? Well, that brings us to the end of this week's study. I look forward to studying with you again next week as we look at Luke chapter 14, verses 1 to 6. May God bless you on your Lenten journey as we continue as God's broken and beloved people.